more uh, chemical reaction, important chemical reaction that is ozone reacts with unsaturated hydrocarbons, unsaturated hydrocarbons like alkenes and alkynes, hydrocarbons like alkenes and alkynes and produces produces their ozonides in the presence of in the presence of CCl4, CHCl3 etc. For example, CH2 double bond CH2 when it reacted with ozone in the presence of chloroform to produce CH2 CH2 O O the name of the compound is ethylene ozonide ethylene ozonide similarly ozone by reacting with potassium iodide solution it is going to form a buffer the resulting borate buffer is when titrated with potassium thiosulfate that is hypo it is used to estimate the amount of ozone present in the given reaction condition so it is called as titrimetry method to uh, estimate the amount of ozone and one more structure of ozone ozone will show this type of geometry o double bond o single bond o so here the middle oxygen with three bonds and one oxygen terminal oxygen with two bonds and one terminal oxygen with single bond this structure will have resonance with another structure it will show resonance with another structure double bond o so again single bonded oxygen with three non-bonding pair of electrons and it is with two and it is with one the distance between oxygen and oxygen is nearly 128 picometers and bond angle present in between o o o is 117 degrees okay 128 picometers of bond length and 117 degrees of bond angle present in the structure of ozone so this is the concepts related to ozone once again ozone is an allotrope of allotropic form of oxygen and it is highly helps us to filter harmful uv visible radiation to reach earth and it is produced from oxygen in the presence of sunlight at nearly 20 kilometers from earth surface and it is a strong oxidizing agent due to release of nascent oxygen and by titrimetry method ionometry method it is possible to estimate the amount of ozone present in the given reaction condition and ozone by reacting with unsaturated hydrocarbons it produces ozonides so this is about ozone and next one is sulfur one more atom belongs to 16th group elements is sulfur as we just said oxygen sulfur selenium tellurium and polonium are 16th group elements up to now the discussions related to oxygen so dioxygen and ozone and this dioxygen by reacting with some metals and non-metals the resulting compounds are called as oxides they are simple oxides and a complex are mixed oxides so the simple oxides are again nearly four types acidic oxides basic oxides amphoteric oxides and neutral oxides so followed by ozone so after completion of the topics related to oxygen the next element in the same group is sulfur the first important question or important concept is allotropes of or allotropic forms of sulfur allotropic forms of sulfur here two most important 
important allotropic forms allotropic forms of sulfur are the two important allotropic forms of sulfur are number one rhombic sulfur rhombic sulfur which is also called as yellow rhombic sulfur yellow rhombic sulfur it is also called as alpha sulfur similarly the second one is monoclinic monoclinic sulfur which is also called as beta sulfur so the two allotropic forms of sulfur are rhombic sulfur and monoclinic sulfur the rhombic sulfur is yellow rhombic sulfur or also called as alpha sulfur whereas monoclinic sulfur is called as beta sulfur let us have the discussion related to rhombic sulfur the rhombic sulfur will have or we can say it as it is yellow color solid the physical state of this compound is yellow color solid having specific gravity having specific gravity 0 sorry 2.08 and it is insoluble insoluble in water and less soluble in in benzene chloroform etc chloroform ccl4 etc and it is well soluble in well soluble in carbon disulfide when the rhombic sulfur will have melting point nearly 385.8 degree kelvin so of melting point next when this rhombic sulfur heated to 369 degree kelvin the rhombic sulfur converts into interconversion of converted into monoclinic sulfur monoclinic sulfur so this is about rhombic sulfur the second one is monoclinic sulfur monoclinic sulfur so as we stated just now monoclinic sulfur is a colorless solid having the specific gravity nearly 1.93 and it is insoluble in water as well as carbon disulfide here having this melting point of monoclinic sulfur is nearly 393 degree kelvin 393 to 394 degree kelvin so of melting point whereas as we stated just now transformation of rhombic sulfur into monoclinic sulfur takes place at 369 degree kelvin temperature so when in a porcelain dish we are going to place rhombic sulfur onto this rhombic sulfur while we are going to apply 369 degree kelvin of temperature so it is converted into monoclinic sulfur here the monoclinic sulfur uh, and rhombic sulfur with S8 system that means sulfur molecule consists of eight sulfur atoms that is atomicity of sulfur is eight eight atoms combines to produce sulfur molecule moreover exactly at 369 degree kelvins of temperature the resulting sulfur are the sulfur present in both the forms rhombic sulfur and monoclinic sulfur that means mixture of two sulfurs available at 369 degree centigrade 
सॉरी थ्री सिक्सटी नाइन डिग्री केलविन मिक्सचर ऑफ टू अलोट्रोप्स और मिक्सचर ऑफ रॉम्बिक सल्फर रॉम्बिक सल्फर एंड मोनोक्लिनिक सल्फर रॉम्बिक सल्फर एंड मोनोक्लिनिक सल्फर सो लेट अस हैव हियर when the temperature decreases below 369 it is available in rhombic sulfur form when the temperature increases more than 369 degree kelvin it is available in monoclinic form this is the reason why 369 degree kelvin temperature is called as transformation temperature transformation temperature that means 369 degree centigrade at 369 degree kelvin temperature rhombic sulfur and monoclinic sulfur both present in equilibrium or mixture state so when decreases the temperature it is available in rhombic form and increases temperature it is available in monoclinic form and next one due to atomicity of sulfur yet having different or high melting and boiling point when compared to oxygen due to yes sulfur atoms these eight sulfur atoms are arranged like this so we can state it as 7 and 8 so each dot represents one sulfur like this sulfur 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 atom sulfur atom sulfur atom and here is the sulfur atom sulfur and this is the total number of sulfurs are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so it is s 8 species having crown shape what is the geometry of sulfur uh, sulfur molecule due to eight sulfur atoms combines to produce sulfur molecule these eight atoms are arranged in a specific order uh, resulting crown shape for sulfur molecule in recent or during the decade of time different sulfur molecules having 6 to 20 atoms 6 to 20 atoms produced by the scientists the s6 is the sulfur molecule shows chair form what is s6 here sulfur molecule with six sulfur atoms which will be represented as sulfur sulfur here sulfur sulfur and this is here chair form of sulfur molecule so this is about structure of sulfur and the last important statement regarding the sulfur rarely the sulfur available in s2 form the s2 form of sulfur exhibit it exhibits paramagnetic character paramagnetic character like oxygen why because in s2 and o2 dioxygen and disulfur pi orbitals with pi orbitals of this molecule with single electrons single electrons due to presence of these single electrons the species will exhibit paramagnetic character so this is about sulfur the two important allotropic forms of sulfur rhombic sulfur or alpha sulfur second one monoclinic sulfur or beta sulfur alpha sulfur that is rhombic sulfur converted into monoclinic sulfur at 369 degree kelvin temperature 